Hey guys, I'm a bit short on time today, but I thought I'd just give you a little quick glimpse into what we're doing. Um, here is the new boy. Please don't uh, take any notice of the bridal. It's the one I've picked up. Doesn't need that bit in, and to be fair, the bridal doesn't particularly fit. Um, come here, mate. Come away. Sniffing Sybil's bottom. But this is the new guy, Sterling. For those of you who have asked, there'll be some videos on him and some info, but today, as I say, we're quite short on time, so a bit more in-depth and you can see a bit more of him tomorrow and hopefully not so dirty and a bridle that fits. But we're just about to go on our ride in a minute. But there you go. Nice dirty grey, but lovely and actually very handsome. Okay, so we've just set out on Sterling, the new boy, and Kyle is on the lovely Sybil. Bearing in mind, guys, uh, guys Sybil, ha it is now Tuesday. Sybil's not left the stable since uh, Friday. Literally, she's not been turned out. She's not been worked over the weekend. And we have just, oh, my ear seemed on, just set out the yard, just back there, straight out from the stable, no lunge, no turnout, nothing. I mean, I'm gonna say how many five-year-olds can you do that on, but just how many horses can you do that on? It's a bit windy as well today. But yeah, straight out the stable. She has only been left the stable this um, weekend just to be tied up to be mocked out. No exercise at all. She does like her, uh, she does like her creature comforts anyway. She quite likes the stable. But straight out, as I say, tacked up. Two steps out the stable, on and gone. That just shows, that's just kind of um, just how genuine. So I am on new guy, Sterling, who is mucky. A um, couple of baths we will have to hopefully uh, bring him to his former beautiful, handsome self. But you can see um, that literally two, three minutes into the hack, and uh, I can safely say he's a chilled out guy. He um, arrived only yesterday from his home of two years. Um, and to be honest, the last two years, he's pretty much been on the farm with his family. So this is new. <coughs> Excuse me. I've literally had awful flu. Um, but anyway, so I'll uh, apologize if there's any coughing fits. Um, but yeah, he arrived as I say yesterday we were pretty full up on the stables yesterday so he went straight out into the field which is not ideal it's not the way I like to do things guys I do often say that when they come new we like to have them in but at the moment I've got more horses than stables so yeah we have to make do so uh, last night he went out which was a shame because his owner had worked very hard in sending him as clean as she possibly could so all that work was undone when he went out he went out with two others a mare and a gelding um who also only arrived yesterday so we just shoved the new bunch out and i thought today we'll go from there um we are currently just literally bringing them in one at a time working them and then once they are um, their videos are done and once they've been homed we then move on to the next um, it's the only way we can do it at the moment hopefully you can still hear me because it's quite breezy um, so Sterling is it'd be a good 15-3 guys um, yeah he's quite substantial and there's plenty horse in front of you as you can see I mean, you know, we are having a bad hair day, but, oh well, once he's had a few makeovers, oh, I was just going to uh, 
push his mane over, but he's actually really handsome. He's a very nicely put together horse. He's an Irish sports horse. Um, he's 15 years old and he knows his job, this horse. Um, he's done a bit of everything. He works very nicely on the flat. He jumps, does literally just everything, hacks, clearly. Um, so, as always, we'll get a little bit further through the hack and I'm going to bring you some more info. I um, also want you to just take lots of notice of a little diamond up there. Bearing in mind, guys, she's carrying Kyle. As we all know, Kyle's a good six foot one. He's in between six foot one and six foot two, obviously male rider. Um, she carries him absolutely fine. She's only five years old. She has time to fill out, but I'll be honest, she's really filling out with us. I mean, she does actually never come up for air. She eats 24 seven. Um, there's definitely nothing wrong with her appetite. She's not greedy, as in, you know, she's quite patient and waits for her food. And she's a gem, to be honest, to have around. She's an absolute gem. Um, but yeah, she will, she will eat as much hay as you give her, literally. Um, so she is filling out nicely. Hello, little ones. Little Shetlands there, enjoying a bit of sunshine. I don't think Sterling saw them till just. <laughs> um, so yes, she is, uh, Hacking out very nicely up in front. The wind's just coming now, so I will continue this when I get out of this uh, windy part so you can hear me better. So, me and Sterling have in a uh, turn leading the way. Um, as we all know, we get them all in. Um, when we're hacking out, we make sure that they're riding all orders whether that's in front behind by the side we also take them alone where we can okay so we're off the road now now we pass a little spooky place that we always say is a bit of a test you may have heard me on some of the videos oh this wind i really hope you can hear me so yeah, it is quite spooky down here. You've got the um, wheelie bins, etc. The washing line blowing. As I say, quite breezy. And as I was saying on, on the clip, just that we do try and make the horses, um, or assess the horses um, on the rides, both in front, behind, by the side. And a lot of the time out alone. So, um, Sterling has spent, as I said, the last two years with his family. Well, he's had a pretty easy life, in fairness to him. Um, hacking around the farm, just a bit of general riding. Um, you know, he's pretty much had a life of Riley, um, really. But actually, he's very smart. Um, I've got some lovely videos of him working um previously um in the arena very nicely schooled um real push button type to be fair very nicely schooled water trot and canter and even though i've only walked and trotted so far we've not had a canter yet he's super comfortable to sit on you just get an idea don't you guys when you're riding some horses are more comfortable to sit on than others and he for sure is very comfortable so i'm quite enjoying this ride so far and many of you'll know um obviously i do a lot of the riding now um which i haven't done over the last couple of years but I like to make sure that i feel safe um and he's definitely doing that so that's exactly what we want i'm just going to say the lovely sybil here look she doesn't mind whether she's in front, behind, by the side, on her, on her own. Honestly, I, I can't um, speak highly enough of her and just how lovely she is and how well that she's been going. 
so down our little bridle path, little track um, where we always take them for a canter I will say that Sterling loaded and travelled well yesterday um, good to catch today and been happy in the stable for the last couple of hours before it's been uh, time to ride been quite settled he's got a nice nature as well in fact he's got a lovely nature actually I was just stood in the stable he just came over and put his chin on my shoulder it's a really nice nature very good looking horse I really hope you can hear this on, on this video yeah very good looking horse real nice stamp he's the type that is not going to over horse anybody size wise and he's certainly not going to under horse people i would say he's a very ideal size um he's a nice middleweight as i say he jumps well he rides well on the flat he knows his job never been sick or sorry no injury no illnesses as far as um we know obviously we do look into the history yeah he's a lovely horse guys and these horses on the market at the moment are super expensive again um i did think the prices had come down which they obviously have since covid but they have sort of creeped up a little bit at the moment I've noticed so we are still sticking to keeping our horses um, in a reasonable budget everywhere that we can so he will be very reasonably priced as are all of our horses he'll be on the lower end of the fours and there is our puppet behind Luke let's have a little zoom in if we can Oh, well, just look at her. She is so beautiful. She is doing so well, that mare. Really is. I mean, this video is probably not the best I've ever done. But just look how beautiful she is. So she is the five-year-old unregistered sports horse. And this is her straight out after however many days. It's now Tuesday, so since Friday. She's lovely, she is. I really should have left my video until I got down here because we sheltered down here and we are... Um, I'm sure you can hear me a lot better, but hopefully you have heard me. So we've been a little bit short of time today. At some point tomorrow, we will give Sterling a good bath and get some good photos of him. But I have got photos and videos of him um from previous as well but yeah i mean look at him he's just hacking along in front his ears pricked forward no martingale on guys um, many of you will know that i always wear gloves people have been saying wear the blue gloves we've now got the clear ones so yeah what happy horse he is thoroughly enjoying his hack so once we turn around we'll obviously Get a bit of a trot and a can to go in and I will video as much as I can. But as we get back up, it is quite windy, so perhaps we won't do too much of the talking afterwards. So there will be lots more videos coming over the um, next few days. There are already videos of him with previous um, owner as well that are available. So I'll pick up this video again shortly. Right then, so we've had, been to the bottom of the track now and turn round. You okay to trot, Kyle? So uh, wait, let's go. Come on, mate. He is very comfortable, this horse, guys. Um, hopefully, I won't get out of breath, but bear with me. As I say, I just had this cold and yeah, it's just on my chest. So trotting nicely 
obviously taking the lead. Let's get back in the middle, mate. Let's get some steering going. And, oh no. Okay, we need to work on the steering. See in the middle, mate. Okay then, Frank, let's canter. Canter. There we go. Oh wow, what a comfortable canter. I knew he would be. I could see by the videos anyway and how he was. Look at her. Little saint behind. Come on. Keep going. Right. There you go, guys. He's not strong. He is lovely. Really nice. Good boy. Oh, oh you see that stalk, Kyle? Guys, there's just been a stalk right next to us. Oh, I sound awful. Well, that was lovely. Absolute lovely horse. Really, really enjoyable ride. How is she? She's good as gold, she is. Absolutely good as gold. So I will safely say that I'm more than happy for Sterling to be my trusted steed for the next few days. Hang on, I'm in a tangle, guys. Here we go. Um, so, yes, lovely horse. Very, very enjoyable to ride. He's gonna make somebody a great horse. Somebody who wants to obviously hack, fun rides, I think he'd be great sort of cross country he'd be great on the beach um sort of one if you want to go and do some riding club some um riding club dressage jumping really really nice horse he's that type that everybody's looking for as in that stamp you know everybody likes that irish horse stamp but he's handsome as well so He's not like a big, heavy, big-headed, wooden Irish horse, you know? Um, and there's no disrespect to those that are, because they are great too, but he's quite handsome. He's got a real good bit of quality in him. Um, he's quite a chunk, actually. He's got a real good amount of weight on him. Um, and, yeah, sorry, still out of breath. This is my first ride since I've had this blooming flu. Kyle had man flu a couple of weeks ago. Um, and yeah, obviously it's caught up on me. Not the man flu, of course. Woman flu, that's why we carry on. So yeah, um, he's going to be a real popular type. And do you know what, guys? I love these horses that are his sort of age because they really are a sensible sort who... I've done a lot, know the job, you know. I hate using the word schoolmasters and schoolmistresses because people tend to think that means machine and it clearly doesn't. But you just know when you're on an educated and um, an experienced horse, this is him. He's got super paces, really nicely schooled. He's, uh, his other videos are well worth seeing if you're interested in him, guys. So this is Sterling. And he, um, you will see more of him over the coming days. And obviously he's available if anybody's interested. It's probably too windy to talk, guys. Just thought I'd show you him trotting down the road on the flat. But Leah's pricked forward. Oh, yeah, he's lovely to ride. He's very nice. He reminds me of the sort of horses that I rode years ago, many years ago, when I was training um, and doing my BHS exams. Reminds me of like what would be probably, oh, the lambs are running. Like you do stage three horses where you're on something that's Quite safe, but you can 
tell the quality and they've got a good level of education and a nice bit of talent. There's our view there. Sybil. Keep letting her just appear on the um, video because oh, she's just quite easy to forget her on a hack um, when I'm videoing another horse because of just how good she is but yeah we're loving her she's still available at the moment um but yeah somebody's gonna end up with a lovely horse with her and so here we get the sterling let's go a bit further away and we're certainly in no rush to go anywhere Oh, we mate. I will do some videos of him off the ground as well, some tacking up videos. He was great for me to get on. Um, I got on him with nobody helping. Sorry, that was mum just calling to see where we are because we're back on the lane now, but I can see her driving up. Cut my video off. Um, but yeah, he just stood there, good as gold. Um, and let me just pull the steps up to him, get on and go. Obviously, that's his our uh, first time getting on him he's not even been here 24 hours and he's hacking out like this spent a good proportion of the hack leading the way hello little sheepies little lambs and you can obviously see that he is what sorry oh they've got out hang on they are not where they're supposed to be where the, where the others are huh? But yeah, good proportion of the hack hacking, and you can safe, safely see that he's not in any rush when he's behind either as well. Oh, he's contemplating stop to have a little talk to that horse then. It did cross his mind, didn't it, mate? But yeah, what a pleasant, lovely horse. I'm very, very pleased with this horse. He's a real nice, solid, quality horse. Somebody's going to have... Uh, a lot of fun with him. This time I am going and here is my mother <laughs> in the car. I told you she just cut my video off and she wanted to know where we are. Just to say that he is super comfortable. I've had a lovely hat. Look there, no thing. No reins. Come on then, Sterling, trot on. Watch. Trot on. Still no reins, guys. <laughs> Still no reins. Walk, 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 good boy.